Hello and welcome to the Federal. Today we are talking to Mr. Bambir Sadik, Chief Spokesperson of National Conference and former advisor to Chief Minister of Jammu Kashmir. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Sadik. Thank uh, you so much. Sir, my first question to you is, Home Minister Amit Shah has said that Union government is planning to remove AFSPA and there will be a gradual withdrawal of forces also. How do you look at this announcement? See, it's a welcome sign. There is uh, there's no doubt that something that the National Conference has been a votary of, something that uh, our, uh, chief, our former Chief Minister, Mr. Omar Abdullah, has been very vocal while he was the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir. And if you remember that uh, that time, it was almost decided that uh, places uh, which are relatively peaceful, you will have a gradual uh, uh, removal of AFSPA from there. And... Uh, it was all decided. So we were very sure uh, that that would happen that time. Unfortunately, for some reasons, it didn't. But we have been uh, time and again saying that uh, this AFSPA is very draconian and it should go. But that is one part of the, the story. The second part is very, which is both amusing and surprising. And that is that while you are talking about AFSPA removal, that means you're saying that the situation has improved to a considerable level. Agreed. If that is the story, then please make me understand that if just two weeks back when the election commission uh, was uh, uh, giving a press conference on election, he very clearly said that the state administration were not ready to hold assembly election and parliament election together, citing security reasons. So it can't be both ways. Either the situation has improved or it has not. If it has improved for removal of ASPA, then why is it not good for ha having uh, assembly and parliament election together? So either the state administration is wrong and they are giving false information or probably they are uh, giving the wrong information to the home minister about the situation in Kashmir. Because it can't happen that both the things are correct. Sir, since we are talking about the security situation in Kashmir, uh, according to you, how is it? Uh, is it feasible to conduct both the elections, Lok Sabha and Assembly together? Because the uh, number of uh, terrorists uh, have come down uh, according to the government data. So according to you, how is the uh, situation? What is the situation, sir? See, if the situation has improved, if what the government of India is claiming and the state administration that the situation is good uh, for tourism uh, purposes, for... Uh, for uh, AFSPA removal, then of course for elections also it is good. The fact is that you just had to put an extra machine in a polling booth. That That's all you had to do. And probably uh, instead of, let's say, uh, 100 candidates, you would have 200 candidates for different elections. So it's not that we don't have force uh, enough force. We do have. You have a lot of force in Jammu and Kashmir uh, presently. They could have utilized their services. And I believe that they could have easily done it if they could have done if they did it for other states of the country there was no uh, stoppage for them for to, to do the same thing in jammu and kashmir so i believe it was something that they should have done unfortunately they didn't sir uh, this will be the first election uh, after the removal of uh, article 370 in jammu and kashmir do you think it will play a key role in the minds of people who come out to vote see uh, Honestly, uh, there is one thing that you can't uh, check is that what is in the minds and hearts of the people. Uh, if And ultimately, it will come out from the booth. Whatever they feel, whatever the sentiment they have in their hearts and minds, it will come through the booth. Post-2019, what we feel is that uh, a lot of people uh, were not able to express their sentiment. And it was a pressure cooker situation where... Uh, there was steam, but there is no vent. So if there is no vent, of course, the, the whole pressure will stay inside. And probably 2019, uh, post-2019, this is the only major election where people can at least express uh, their point of view. And I think the, the, the best part about this country is, uh, is, the, is the democracy. And I think uh, through the ballot box, they will ensure and tell uh, to the world that whatever happened, and that's what we believe as, as the National Conference representative and as a party, we believe that uh, this is an opportunity for the people to express their resentment, their, their sentiment uh, through the ballot box. And I'm sure uh, what we 
as uh, the local regional party feel that whatever happened on 2019 was done undemocratically, unconstitutionally, and without the consent of the people. And people will uh, give a very resounding uh, statement when the uh, election results are out. So I feel, yes, it's very uh, important, this election, and people will come out to vote and vote in what they feel is right. So how important is the restoration of statehood for the people of Jammu Kashmir? We have witnessed a, a protest happening in Ladakh region. But for, for, for the people of Jammu Kashmir, how important is statehood? See, it's, it's, it's definitely important because uh, if, you, if you see uh, before 2019, Jammu and Kashmir was a prosperous state, one of the very important state of the country with, uh, with everything in, in, in order. Uh, we were better... Uh, in terms of uh, in poverty, we were better in terms of infant mortality. We were better better in in economic conditions, better than even uh, Gujarat. So, of course, people had uh, their problems. Militancy is there, and it will still stay there till till the last gun is uh, silenced. But uh, overall, people were happy that they were a prosperous, strong state. When you downgrade a state like that to a UT and then divide it into two, of course, people will have his impact. Of course, people will be angry. And that anger has not come out yet. If you see Ladakh, uh, people are protesting on the roads. People were promised six schedule. People were promised uh, so many things. Nothing happened. So it's not only people of Jomo and Kashmir, but also the people of Ladakh, who till recently were rejoicing about abrogation of Article 370, are today... Uh, actually repenting about that are actually coming out and saying that whatever happened on August 5 is wrong and that should be taken back and and we believe that as Kashmiri, as, as a political party from Jammu and Kashmir uh, the, re the resentment is very resounding uh, uh, right now in the, in the hearts and minds of the people and I feel that when the time comes people will uh, give a very strong word. So Home Minister Amit Shah has said that there will be no dialogue with the Huryat and the union government will talk directly to the people of Kashmir. Do you think the di dialogue process can move forward without including them? See, unfortunately, we have been a victim of separatism. We have been a victim of militancy. If you remember, right from 89, we have lost more than 10,000 of our workers, only second to the security forces. So we have also given our lives for, uh, for taking the... Uh, tricolor in our hand. So we were never in favor of separatism. We were never in favor of uh, uh, of, of militancy or terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. And we have faced the brunt for that. But that said, if anybody in Delhi can claim that now the, the sentiment of the ground which with regard to separatism is over, I think uh, that would be wrong. The separatism has always stayed there. Probably the percentage has gone up and down, but it has always stayed there. Is this the right time to talk to them? No. Is, is separatism because they have uh, consigned close around a lack of people to the graves. So please understand people have resentment that till yesterday they were talking in one tone and today they are nowhere. And, uh, and people also understand the national conference has been against it. Face the brunt on both sides in, in terms of uh, Pakistan, in terms of even our uh, uh, deep state or probably whatever is happening to us today. We are being honored and we are being called anti-national by our own country, while as they don't understand our sacrifices for this, for this country. But that said, I think uh, right now is not the time. If uh, Kashmir improves, if Kashmir gets peaceful, probably we'll be the happiest uh, for that. But that will take time. If just for a media narrative or just for, uh, uh, for brownie points, you are claiming that Kashmir has gone back to normal, I think that would be a wrong assessment. So my last question to you is, you are with the India Alliance, yet there is no seat sharing between National Conference, PDP and Congress in Jammu Kashmir. So it basically means you are not in alliance. No, who says we are not in an alliance? We are in an alliance. Congress is contesting two seats of Jammu. National Conference is contesting the seats in uh, Kashmir Valley. But, you know, you need to understand, and that is what the Congress has also been uh, particular about, that... Uh, the Congress itself felt that the, the valley seat should be contested by uh, national conference and Jomu seats should be contested by uh, Congress. And that is 
a deal that has been done it is not that we are fighting against each other mehbooba ji i am hope good sense prevails on her and uh, she also feels because she has been very categorical that she will be uh, she will be supportive of an alliance uh, uh, the candidates that we all put up so i hope she also supports and she also needs to understand that this is a larger cause it's not about seating and it's not about anything else and probably um, if you if you i don't know if you have seen that that there is an assembly election hopefully happening by end of september before this end of september there are always uh, doors open for an alliance in the assembly also so i'm sure um, the the party like pdp the party like cpim the party like other uh, part of the indian alliance will have their share but uh, it will be at an appropriate time right now the indian alliance felt that kashmir should be fought by national conference and jammu from congress and that uh, that's how we should go ahead with that thank you for sharing your thoughts mr sadik it was a pleasure talking to you subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates